Hey, what is up everyone? So in my last video, we made a fruit acid facial serum and now it's time for the 5% lactic acid facial serum. I also made a 5% lactic acid facial toner in the past, so I'll be sure to link that video down below along with the fruit acid facial toner and fruit acid facial serum if you guys wanna check out those videos as well. So here is the formulation typed out in percents for you guys, so you can just easily screenshot this recipe and refer back to it whenever you wanna make it. And if you don't know how to transfer percents to a weighed out recipe, Recipe, I'll link a video down below that shows you guys exactly how to do that. So we are only going to be making a half ounce bottle of this lactic acid facial serum. So let's get started. So first off, you need a digital scale that weighs to 0.01 grams. And I'm using this 50 milliliter glass beaker to weigh everything out in. So first off, I'm only going to be adding in 6.81 grams of the distilled water. Total, we're going to need 9.81 grams, but you'll see here in a minute why we're not adding the full amount of distilled water yet. You can also replace this out with aloe vera liquid or any other hydrosol you would like to use. Next, I'm using three grams of aloe vera. You could also replace this with any other hydrosol you would like. Next, I'm gonna be using propendial. So this ingredient is an emollient, which means it's a great moisturizing ingredient and it's a lot like vegetable glycerin. So you can replace this out for a glycerin if you don't have propendial. But if you would like to learn more about propendial, I'll put a link down below to where you can purchase it. And it also has tons of information so you can learn about it as well. And I added in 0.6 grams of the propendial. So now it's time to add in our lactic acid. So if you don't know what lactic acid is, it is an alpha hydroxy acid and it helps exfoliate dead skin cells off the skin. I do have a video all about alpha hydroxy acid, so if you want to learn more about it, I'll link that video down below. So this is an 88% concentration of a lactic acid. So that means 12% of it is water. So that means we can't just use 5% of it and call it a 5% lactic acid serum. We had to figure out how to get 5% lactic acid out of this diluted solution, and that ends up equaling 5.6%. So that's why we're using 5.6% of the lactic acid instead of 5%. So I added in 0.85 grams of the lactic acid. So as soon as you add this lactic acid in, it'll drop the pH value so low. It ends up dropping to around a two. So we're gonna have to raise the pH. So first off, mix everything together to make sure it's well combined. And as I said before, we're gonna need a total of 9.81 grams of distilled water. So far, we only added in 6.81 grams, but we're gonna be using a diluted lye solution to buff the pH to raise it. So first we need to take the pH of our concoction. And as of right now, it's around 2.97. So we don't really need to raise it too much. So this is my 10% diluted lye solution. If you don't know how to make this, I will link a video down below that shows you guys exactly how to make a 10% diluted lye solution. And I talk about how to raise and lower pH levels of formulations. So you wanna start off with just adding a few drops. So I only added in five drops at first and you wanna weigh how much the drops end up weighing. So it ends up weighing 0.22 grams. So go ahead and jot that down. Then mix everything together and wait about a minute because it can take a minute for the pH to sort of level out after adding in the lye solution. So take the pH again and as you can see it raised to 3.38. We need to get it somewhere in between 3.5 and 4. So I went ahead and added in 5 more drops which ended up equaling 0.11 grams. I mixed everything together, waited a minute, and took the pH again. So now the pH is 3.62, which is perfect. So now we need to take 6.81 grams, which is the amount of water we added before, add 0.22 grams and add 0.11 grams and subtract that number from 9.81. So that means we need to add 2.67 grams more of distilled water since we needed a total of 9.81 and we left three grams out to make room for our buffer solution, we need to add in the rest that needs added in. So I hope that made sense to you guys. If you wanna watch my video on how to make a lactic acid facial toner, I did go a little bit more in detail about it, so go check that video out as well. I'll link it down below. So lastly, it's time to add in our water-soluble broad-spectrum preservative, and I'm using Lewisidal SF Complete. You can easily substitute this out for any other water-soluble broad-spectrum preservative. So Lewisidal SF Complete is used at 4%, so I added in 0.6 grams of the Lewisidal SF Complete. Then just mix everything together one last time, and one last time, I want to take the pH to make sure it didn't raise too much. So it did raise a little bit, but it's still in between 3.5 and 4, so we are totally good. So now it is time to add our hyaluronic acid. If you don't know what hyaluronic acid is, you're definitely missing out. 
I'll put a link down below to where you can purchase it and where you can read more about it. I've talked a lot about it on my channel in the past, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but it does act as a gelling ingredient and it's great for filling in like fine lines and wrinkles. So I went ahead and added in 0.15 grams of the hyaluronic acid and it has to be a hyaluronic acid with 1-1.5 million Daltons in order for it to gel. Any other hyaluronic acid, it won't make it jelly. It'll just be kind of more of a liquidy serum. So hyaluronic acid does not do a very well job at all dissolving in water. It sort of just like clumps up. So just do your best to sort of mix it up and break it up as much as you can in the water, but it really won't break up that much. So go ahead and just cover it and let it sit for about three hours after you mix it up a little bit. And after three hours, it'll be this nice gelled texture and it's all nice and translucent. And it just looks like a beautiful gel that feels amazing on the skin. So now that we're all done, it's time to package up our serum. I'm using this half ounce glass dropper bottle to store my lactic acid facial serum in. I'll link down below to where you can purchase these bottles and some similar ones over on Amazon. So here's what our serum looks like when it's all finished. And now it's time to add on a label. If you don't know how to make homemade labels, I'll link down below to a video that shows you guys how to do that and to a video that shows you guys how to waterproof them. So now we are all finished. You just made a 5% lactic acid facial serum. If you don't know how to use a facial serum or alpha hydroxy acids, well first you want to wash your face and then tone your skin. And while your skin is still damp, go ahead and take like two or three drops of the serum and gently massage it into your skin. And when using alpha hydroxy acids, you wanna make sure you're protecting your skin from the sun because it does make your skin sensitive. So make sure you're wearing sunscreen for up to seven days after use. So now that we reached the end of this video, it is time for my Patreon shoutouts. First up, we have Herbalist Tracy, who owns Essence of Nature over on Etsy. I did do a video review over her products before. I'll link that below along with a direct link to her Etsy shop. Next up is Musical Mood Ring, who owns Stardust Bath & Body. As of right now, her website is not live, but you can go over there, type in your email, and get notified when it goes live. You can also go follow her over on Instagram at Stardust Bath & Body. Next up is Nature's Farm Girl, who owns naturesfarmgirl.com. She sells all kinds of natural skincare products, so go check out her products. Next is Kennedy's Essentials, and she sells all kinds of natural hair care products. I did a review over her products in the past. I'll link that below, along with a link to her shop. Next up is Let's Blend, and guess what? I did a review over her products as well, so I'll link that review down below, along with a direct link to her shop. Next up, it's not actually a shop, it is a spa. And this place is called Young Forever Aesthetics, and they specialize in plant-based facials and all kinds of other amazing things. So go check them out if you're ever in Miami, Florida. Also, you can go follow them over on Instagram and get like skincare tips and all kinds of stuff at Young Forever Aesthetics. Lastly is Rise Porter, who owns Creative With Love, and her shop literally looks like Valentine's Day. It is super cute, go check her out. Also, if you didn't know, I do sell homemade skincare products myself over on Etsy. I'll link my shop down below and up in the corner so it's easy for you guys to find. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I'll link down below to a playlist with all my facial serums I've done in the past so you guys can go binge watch those if you haven't seen them before. So I hope you guys have a great week and hope to see you guys next time. Bye! I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from I'm so